There are several reasons people might be afraid of doing CPR. One of those reasons might be that you're afraid of it being too hard. It's not, and we're going to show you that in just a second. Second reason might be of legal repercussions. Under the state of Ohio, we are covered as Good Samaritans to do CPR. If a person is unresponsive and not breathing, they're going to need your help. Your job is to keep them alive long enough for EMS to get there and continue that care. So here's how you do it. It's not that hard. We're going to call 911. We want to initiate early care for paramedics and first responders. Second step is going to be making sure the patient is unresponsive and not breathing. The next thing we're going to do is start compressions. The good news is here, we don't have to do mouth to mouth anymore. By simply doing compressions, we are oxygenating the brain and the heart and the vital organs with enough oxygen until paramedics can arrive. You're going to want to maintain a compression rate of 100 to 120 beats per minute. That's compressions every minute to make sure that an adequate amount of oxygen and blood have reached those vital organs. You can keep the tempo of CPR pretty easy by using several different songs. Some people like using Staying Alive. I, for one, like using Baby Shark. Remember, if you start CPR, don't stop until either an AED arrives or emergency personnel have shown up. For more information on CPR and CPR guidelines and classes, you can visit uhems.org.